When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. This next option is one of the best sounding models out there. Number five, Tozo T6. Taking a chance on a product from a company that you've never heard of can be a scary thing, and that's exactly what I decided to do with the Tozo T6. These regularly appear in my searches for true wireless earbuds, and between that and the unabashed AirPods design ripoff, I figured it was time to actually get my hands on them to see what they're all about. Targeting an affordable price point, thousands of consumers have chosen the Tozo earbuds in the past couple of years. It goes without saying that the T6 aren't a whole lot different in this regard. They're priced low enough for most to justify, but not expensive enough that they make people hesitant to purchase them. Placing the Tozo T6 in your ears for the first time, you'll need to spend a couple of minutes to determine the correct ear tip for yourself. Included with these three different varieties, the pre-installed rubberized tips can easily be removed and replaced with either a smaller or larger size. At this time, we'd say it's crucial to achieve a fit that's snug, yet not too tight. This will create a nice seal around them, so the sound leakage isn't an issue. Once you've done that, you'll know you have the right tips if you can wiggle your head vigorously without the earbuds falling out. The earbuds are advertised to last around 5 hours between full charging cycles. Looking at the specs, it's clear that they've included some nice features to retain high-quality sound. Utilizing Bluetooth 5.0, the T6 work in conjunction with HSP, HFP, A2DP, AVRCP sound profiles. These are some of the latest standards when it comes to wireless audio transmission that play an important role in overall clarity and quality. IPX8 is much better than the standard IPX6 or IPX5 that we typically see in earbuds in this price range. What exactly does that mean though? Simply put, the earbuds and case are both rated for complete submersion of water. Although they can only withstand being one meter deep for about half an hour, this is quite good. The earbuds and case both come equipped with a nano coating that makes this possible. They're compact, fit well, and have plenty of attractive features to make them a good choice for most individuals. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number four, Soundpeats Bluetooth earbuds. The Soundpeats True Free True Wireless headphones look decent, but they're a little boring overall. Both the earbuds and the charging case feature an all-black color scheme with the Soundpeats logo featuring on each piece. The earbuds aren't overly big, which is nice to see, and will likely play into comfort level a little later. They're not as small as some True Wireless headphones we've seen, but they're still pretty small. On each earbud, you'll find a button, with the buttons being used to control playback, volume, and so on. Pressing the buttons requires pushing, of course, but because of the placement of the buttons, you'll also be pushing the earbuds deeper into your ears, which can be a little uncomfortable. Looking at the charging case for the True Free Plus, it checks all the boxes. It's lightweight, has strong magnets that keep the earbuds securely in place, and the lid is easy to open while also offering a resounding snap when it's closed. I also really like the textured top that Soundpeats added. It doesn't change anything about how you use the True Free Plus in your day-to-day, -day, but it's a subtle tweak that allows the case to stand out from the myriad of other True Wireless Buds in my desk. Because of the fact that the headphones are relatively small and light, we actually found that they were pretty comfortable during use. Any in-ear headphones are going to have some level of discomfort, but we found that these headphones generally avoided comfort issues that other True Wireless headphones run into. Ultimately, sound quality is the area that many cheap headphones compromise on, but thankfully the Soundpeats True Free headphones actually don't sound all that bad for the price. Sure, they're not audiophile grade headphones, but they're not terrible either. The Soundpeats True Free headphones connect to your listening device through Bluetooth 5.0, and we found that they were pretty good at retaining that connection. The battery life on the headphones sits at 3.5 hours, which isn't great. The Soundpeats True Free headphones aren't perfect, but for the price they actually have a ton to offer. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 3. Anchor Soundcore Live P2 
These earbuds are built to do a little bit of everything, making them great for general consumers. They have a familiar aesthetic and make use of USB-C charging rather than its dated micro-USB ancestor. Battery life is above average, but if you want something more specialised, say for exercise or travel, you should look at a designated workout or noise-cancelling headset instead. Cheap, true wireless earbuds are having their time in the sun, lapping up every ray that comes their way. Anker wants in on the fun with the Anker Soundcore Life P2. These may be another pair of AirPod lookalikes, but they afford so much more for so much less. The earbuds stay in the ear well enough for general cardio, like running, but fell out of my ears with more vigorous movements like jumping jacks. What's more, the stems frequently got caught in my towel as I wiped sweat away. This caused the buds to fly out of my ears multiple times during testing. If you're weightlifting or just taking a stroll around the block, the earbud should stay in just fine. Despite the cheap feel of the Anker Soundcore Life P2, they're rather durable and can be fully submerged for up to 30 minutes. Onboard storage isn't available though, so the earphones can't actually be used while swimming. It's also worth noting that instead of touch controls, they feature physical buttons, which some may prefer. Like the Liberty Air 2, they have four microphones, two of which are supposed to help with noise reduction when making calls in noisier environments. They do a decent job of reducing background noise when making calls, but my voice didn't sound as clear to callers as it did with the Liberty Air 2. While there's no wireless charging, you do get USB-C charging. Battery life is rated to 7 hours and they have an IPX7 water resistance rating, which means they can be fully submerged in water to a depth of 3 feet and still survive. Anker's Soundcore Life P2 earbuds check a lot of boxes, including decent sound and good headset performance. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Anker Soundcore Liberty Neo Offering surprisingly good sound quality and a truly wireless design for a fraction of the price of most competitors, the Anker's Soundcore Liberty Neo is a fantastic deal if you want the freedom of zero wires on the cheap. However, the cost savings does bring some sacrifices. The earbuds are pretty bland as far as design goes, but they work and fit really well. You're afforded a variety of ear tips and silicon sleeves, some of which are winged. To get the most out of the earbuds, make sure to find the proper combination of tips and sleeves. Doing so not only keeps the earbuds in place, but also improves isolation and thus improves sound quality. The Soundcore branded charging case is equally uninspiring. The oblong housing is shiny and bland. It hosts a centered silicon flap protecting the micro USB input and opens with a slight creak. This isn't ideal, but hey, it works. Its relatively small size makes it easy to pocket or drop into a purse, unlike alternatives we've seen from Creative. Assuming these earbuds receive the higher IPX7 rating, which means they can be completely submerged for 30 minutes at a time. This makes them virtually impervious to sweat, no matter how intense your hip workout is. These buds will endure. These Bluetooth 5.0 earphones stay well connected indoors, but whenever I took them outside, connection stability became a real mess. It took 4 hours 48 minutes until the Soundcore Liberty Neo batteries were depleted, which falls short to the 5 hour standalone battery life. The charging case supplies an additional 15 hours of battery, so the earbuds should carry you through a week of commuting before topping the case up via micro USB cable. The dynamic drivers boost bass notes, making them sound twice as loud as their counterparts in the mids and highs. Anyone looking to get the most out of spending the bare minimum will appreciate Anker's pricing and its high value offerings. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. JLab JBuds Air In 2018, JLab helped pave the way for cheap, true wireless earbuds with its JLab JBuds Air. These wireless workout in-ears received an IP55 rating, boast a comprehensive array of onboard controls and include a charging case with an integrated USB charging cable. If you've been apprehensive about total wireless earbuds due to their generally higher cost and less than reliable connectivity, JLab's earbuds are a great low-risk pick. I hope you're fond of plastic because everything from the 500mAh charging case to the earbuds themselves are constructed from it. While this does cheapen the look and feel of the JBuds Air, it also keeps costs down and allows for the IP55 durability rating. The included earbuds provide an effective fit that remains stable while running, cycling, weightlifting and rock climbing. The nozzles are angled for an ergonomic fit, but this can't combat the discomfort felt after just one hour of wear. While this would be unconscionable for something like studio headphones, it's par for the course when it comes to workout earbuds as most of us don't spend more than an hour at the gym anyway. With that included charging case, you're provided an extra 10 hours of playback, 
and the earbuds automatically charge when holstered. I was initially dubious of the USB cable's durability, but JLab states it's tested to withstand at least 10,000 bends before showing signs of wear. When speaking through the JLab JBuds Air microphone, my voice is rendered inaccurate, a consequence of low-end attenuation. Taking calls in a completely quiet environment isn't even a pleasant experience for whoever is on the other side of the call. It just sounds like you're speaking from 10 feet away. The JLab JBud Air earbuds are water and dust resistant and have an IP55 rating to show for it. Aside from that, they fit extremely well. Sure, the bulky build is an eyesore, but with the provided cush fins installed, it's next to impossible for the earbuds to be removed unintentionally. Battery life is below average for a pair of true wireless earbuds. Upon subjection to a constant 75 decibel SPL output, our objective testing measured a 3.07 hour playback time. If you're really hesitant about giving true wireless a go, the JLab Go Air is a safe pick. Buying Guide Firstly, build quality. Build quality is an essential factor in your headphone buying journey. While you can find cheaper, well-made headphones, you'll generally have to pay for well-put-together headphones. Here are a few factors to consider when you're checking out how headphones are constructed. First off, take a look at the headband. Look at whether it's constructed with any kind of metal or if it's entirely plastic. Also, be sure to take a look at the padding that'll rest on your head. You'll want to make sure that the material appears soft and comfortable in case of any long listening sessions. Secondly, noise cancelling. Active noise cancelling headphones contain a microphone that measures the noise around you and then creates an opposite sound wave to eliminate that noise. You just hear your music, podcast or audiobook. Not all noise cancelling is the same though. For a premium listening experience, some models utilise proprietary technology that continually adapts the level of noise cancellation to whatever you're doing. And thirdly, volume limiting. The ability to keep the volume at safe levels is an excellent feature to have when your child wants to use the headphones. Volume limiting headphones do exactly that. They are typically designed to keep volume at 85 decibels or less. Plus, not all volume limiting headphones are designed for children, so they can be a good alternative for adults concerned with protecting their own hearing as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.